What's going on guys? God bless you, Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for watching today's video. You probably clicked thinking you're gonna see the inside, but it is not ready. I have actually been working on two projects. This one you haven't seen. Well, I don't think you have. Maybe on Instagram, if you follow me on my social, on uh, Instagram under Saucin underscore with Carlos, you'll probably see a lot of the stuff that has gone behind the scenes, but you haven't seen this one really. I think I posted a, a teaser on the inside, but nobody has seen really the outside. Um, but I got a new setup, y'all. So today's video is actually me showing you my new setup, which I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. So before we start talking about this one, let's get this video started of me using it today actually at a customer's house and we'll be right back to show you guys how everything looks. Thank you. 
All right, you guys already saw it a little bit in action, uh, but now it's truly the the fun. The fun begins as far as me showing you this new setup, guys. I'm very excited. Uh, before I get started with this, uh, with this, well, I already started the video, but before this video keeps going, I want to give a huge shout out to Chris uh, Lumbreras uh, for truly uh, giving me probably the most expensive gift I have ever received. Um, he gifted me with the platform, guys. Um, I preach a lot about, you know, everything It comes in time. I don't like to rush things. But, wow, I got blessed with a new platform, guys, which is where everything is on right now. So you're going to see, I think the next, this clip that's going to be playing right now is a little bit of the overview of what it looks like, guys. Um, I ended up getting a 50-gallon water tank. Um, and then we also got the rigid air compressor, the 4.5 gallon. I think it's four. Yeah, it should be 4.5 gallons. I ended up buying two new hose reels, uh, and we got the new max speeding rod generator. It is a 5,000 watt inverter. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. Um, I'll be posting a link about it as well. Uh, and I think in a, maybe in a couple more days, I'll be doing a more thorough review on that generator, uh, what I thought about it and everything. But it is on the truck, so that means I actually like it. Um, and obviously, you guys know the mighty 1001 LX200. This is a big extractor. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm really excited of how well it performed uh, out, obviously, in the um in the field today uh no leaks thankfully i just got to fix a couple of things on it but this thing came out pretty pretty solid um but this is the setup i'll show you guys really quick very simple but effective it keeps me more organized now i have two of these um platforms i just put in the back i didn't know where to put them but those go in the back Check this out. I got a bucket over here. Very simple. And check the slide out, guys. Check the slide out. Bam. And we got it out. And then you can literally roll it back in. Right there, it's already uh, stuck or, you know, clipped on. It's not going to go anywhere. So if I need a little bit of more room to, if, usually, I if I don't have room, it's because this one doesn't reach. So if I don't have room, I'll slide it out. That'll give me that extra couple of, of maybe feet. Uh, but there's no need to slide it out. But I'm like excited because everything comes out. I have it all controlled by a um, wireless uh, remote uh, that I saw a bunch of detailers have it. Uh, Raw does detail has one which I need to convert to the where he puts it in his wrist because I actually lost that remote today When I went to the customer's house, I forgot I had put it in the back and when I left that thing like flew off So I had to drive back to find it, but I found it. So everything's under control I'm able to turn on and off everything with the push of a button. It is just much more simple um, one thing I did mess up on and I will just bring you guys around is on the pressure washer these are from uh these reels are from harbor freight and what i ended up doing was uh buying two of them i took the air hose this red one off of this one here and i ended up buying a new reel from uh northern tools or a new pressure washer reel uh, hose from northern tools and i put this one on one minor mistake was it was not reeling in um thankfully i watched uh my good friends uh stay slick gary's video on how he converted the hose reel into a pressure washer reel um but the only thing he didn't mention was the you, in order for this to reel in how it should you have to twist or turn the that the reel all the way to the back to like to the last click uh, that way, when you put the hose in, it'll have enough power, I think, to reel in the, the, the hose. That was the only thing, and now it works. So I'm happy 
with the turnout now. Um, but really, guys, this thing is freaking sick. I'm excited uh, on how well this thing performed. Um, but that is one thing I have been working behind the scenes a little bit on this past, I think, a week. It's been a week full of just headaches, trips to Home Depot. Uh, this for me was a learning curve because I've never done this. Um, but now I, I have a platform, so I'm super excited, super stoked. Uh, very compact, literally, uh, I can go anywhere and feel safe that they're not gonna take my stuff. Because <laughs> if you've seen my, uh, if you've seen my previous setup, everything was not bolted, like everything was loose. So if when I made a turn, everything slid to the right, everything slid to the left. So nothing was bolted. Uh, but now everything is bolted and everything is secure. Um, and I can feel safe like when I go to the store and stuff that they won't pick my stuff up and take off with it So everything is pretty much set on there guys, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of my new setup uh, Obviously, you're gonna see it more in action. Maybe in tomorrow's videos. There's just so much stuff going on right now that I just uh, uh, Just got carried away. I haven't done many videos. So I know a lot of you guys inbox me like hey, are you okay? I'm fine guys. I just haven't posted any videos to be honest i've been just not busy but you know just taking time from doing videos um but i know you guys want to see the inside that one is going to be hopefully for maybe next week as i'm still working on it it is not finished um so i don't want to reveal the inside yet until i have everything ready so but again shout out to chris uh, for providing me this awesome gift of the platform it truly means a lot to me. Uh, it's a blessing and, and, and just like I told you that day, you know, God bless you. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just stoked. I'm excited uh, just because of, of just this new setup. I feel, I feel like I just took off on of my job or just started this and I'm excited to go out there and work. I don't know. I don't know even if that makes sense, but I'm just stoked, guys. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you guys. I will catch you guys on the next video.